Today I'm gonna to install this EKM gas meter. So the situation is this. I added a whole wing onto my house with a little rental cottage, and I wanna know how much gas they're using versus how much gas the main house is using. So let me show you where I'm gonna install it and the tools that I'm gonna use, and then I'm gonna go ahead and install it. So this is the location where I'm gonna be installing it, right here. You can see this is the, the main house gas meter right here. And so they're just gonna be directly in line. So what I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna cut right here, cut a little chunk out. I'm gonna pull this piece of galvanized pipe out. I'm gonna pull this out. And I'm gonna go ahead and hook this meter up. You can see the arrow there. Gas flows that way. So it's gonna go right like that. This is gonna go at an angle like that. And that's how the final install should look just about like that. All right, let me show you what tools are needed. All right, so obviously we're gonna need a Sawzall that's with this special bit for cutting through steel. And this is amazing. This will, you'll see in a second, this will cut through that galvanized pipe like it's butter. Amazing. Now these blades cost almost $50. So not, not cheap. I've got two of them as a backup. Obviously, definitely need the pipe wrench some pliers for handling these smaller little pieces of pipe and maybe using tape measure and a hammer. I also got a whole bag. I prepared myself here. So extra parts. I just never know, you know, what, what size piece I'm gonna need. So I just got a whole variety. I still may end up having to go to the hardware store, but I may have enough. Then we got the special tape just for a gas line thread seal tape. And just to be extra cautious, after I put the tape on, I'm going to use the pipe thread compound on top of the tape. Make sure you get a nice tight seal so there's no gas leaks. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with the install right there. First step, obviously, is shutting off the gas. All right, gas shut off. I've decided to use the, uh, the shorter six inch one. Let's go ahead and just install there. All right. Okay. all these pieces are. If everything goes smoothly, these will all come off really easily. Oh, yes, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. Okay. Yes. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. That's a 
this one here. I could just leave it on. I just don't know. Concern there it wasn't moving. Get enough torque on it. You're all right. Hmm. All right. There we go. I don't trust how loose that is. This thing's spinning way too easily. I have to rotate all the way around. All right. So now we're gonna start. We're gonna start on this side here, putting pieces. Get a small little piece in there. Hook this up. And this is going to be, then we'll start on this side. You get a little, you can pivot this a little bit. This is really nice. So let's go ahead and the right piece. So I've decided to use the smallest little pieces of pipe that I'm going to be screwing right into there, just like that. And. Go ahead and put the gas line thread seal tape on and you want to do it you put it on in the direction that you're going to be threading so i'm going to be threading like that direction clockwise so i got this on like that okay and then just to be sure i'm going to add a little bit of this uh, pipe thread compound there you go Open up. Oh, come off. All right, just put a little bit on there. I hate getting this stuff on my fingers, but yeah, I want to make sure it's spread out nicely. I'm going to put a little bit on the threads too, just to be sure. There we go. Push that around. All right, here we go. And we'll go ahead and screw that in. There we go. Now, this is why I brought the vice grips and pliers. Because it's such a, I don't want to damage the threads by using this big pipe wrench. So I'm just going to use the narrower pliers. Oops, go. Not to damage the threads. Just want to get it nice, snug. You really can't damage the thread. I mean, if you over tighten it, it's just you can tighten it as tight as you can. It's going to be fine. You're not going to be stripping the threads unless you put the pliers right on the threads. Okay, do one more. A nice tight. Very. Oh, actually, I'm going to do one more just to be sure. Okay, there we go. All right, now we're going to thread this side. Gonna go that way. There we go. And then I'm gonna take this piece off here. It's 90 cycle around. I want to make sure it's nice and tight. It's always a good thing. I can see this th the whole pipe spinning. That means it's going tighter on the other side too, which is perfect. All right, that is snug. All right, now we're going to move on to the next section.
tight there, but I'm gonna go all the way around that time. I can see the pipe actually. You can see that? That pipe is actually spinning, which is nice. I can just keep it a little tighter. And then, all right, just have a little connector there. It's gonna go like that. All right. It's always nice to give a little tug so it really sits, seats into the thread. Go. I'll put just a little bit of the threads too. Okay. And that right there is wide enough where I could use this. So, this just screws, you can see, I'll just double check, it just screws right on up. Right. I'm just, just going to say, kind of, get it mildly snug and set it in place. I know I'm going to have to take it off again, this piece. Probably pretty good. Like that. Okay, that's good. All right, now we gotta figure out this side here. I get that lined up. I don't like how loose this is. So I'm gonna spin that around one full. In fact, you know what? I'm actually gonna take this off. <coughs> I'm gonna re apply some of that tape and the ceiling compound. Just don't trust it. Do not trust that.
Check it up in there. So this is what I'm looking at. See how much thread I have there? And I have about the same here. So let's see where I'm at. Oh well, yeah, so that's it's high. I actually have to go. I may have to twist this. Well, let me see. Yeah, I may have to make this go even deeper. Make it fit. Let's see here. All right, so I I crank down this a little bit more. So if you see here, it's a little wiggle room too. So right about there is where I need it. So we might be okay. Right there, let's give it a shot. Show you what it looks like. All right, so this is what we have. Look at that. See that rubber O ring? It's fitting nicely. Let's see if it'll screw in now without stripping the thread. And be careful. Yep, it's going in nicely. It's going in. All right, that is really, really good news. Okay, I'm gonna have to. Second. This is wriggling it out of the wall. All right, let's see here. Okay, it's got some plastic covering it so it doesn't get damaged. I'm gonna just clean it up a little bit. It looks like it's in. I've got a little gas detection meter. So once we turn it back on, I will use that. And you can see if there's any leaks. So I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed. And this here, so. Later on, once I get power out of here, I'll hook it to a uh, Wi-Fi so I can re read it from my smartphone. All right, clean it up. All right. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I've got it hooked up. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the gas back on. And I'm just gonna start with this smell test. If there's no obvious leaks. Okay. It's kind of interesting to see the uh, first numbers move right there. Once I get all the pilot lights lit. Let's see here. Let's do a smell test there. Now, all right, well. The gas isn't really flowing that much, so I'm gonna go to the house and I'm gonna start lighting the, uh, I'll start with the stove, get some gas going, and see what happens. So, interesting, there's still gas flowing. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn the gas dryer on. Let's see. That draws a lot of gas. So let's see, uh, we'll go outside and check to see if we smell anything. Okay, so I've got the dryer on, which is gas powered. 
If you remember before when we came out here, that was at about five. So you can see, it's already a seven and a half. Um, it's turning to an eight. So the gas is flowing. That's a good thing. So I'm gonna go, let me smell it one more time to see. Yeah, I don't, I don't smell any gas at all. I'm gonna go get my gas meter. We're just gonna double check. All right, here's my combustible gas detector. All right. Oops. Ready here. Just gonna, it takes about 10 seconds to warm it up. This thing works so well. Way better than spraying soapy water and waiting to see bubbles. So the secret is I'm holding it away from any gas source. So it's because it's calibrating. All right, now that just means it's working. So I just toggle it until it shuts off. Let's head back over. Let's start over here. I didn't do any work on these areas. Hold it for about a second. Each area. I'm keeping my fingers crossed here. pieces because they're at the base. Last junction right there. And I say we have a successful installation. No gas detected. The gas is flowing. We got ourselves two meters. Yes. So the entire installation of this EKM gas meter took one hour and 30 minutes. And that included me setting up all my camera equipment. So you could probably do it closer to one hour flat. That's pretty cool. So anyhow, if you enjoyed this video, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel. And also check out some of my other really cool home improvement videos that save you a lot of money. <laughs>